All right, come here real quick and take a look at this. This is a mandala. A mandala is a complex, abstract, circular design, a spiritual and ritual symbol in Hinduism and Buddhism. It represents the universe never ending, always connected. How would you like to learn to make a mandala? And then we have just the opportunity for you. Sue Dutton is the president of the Milton Arts Guild and joins us this afternoon. And uh, <laughs> she's putting one of the puzzles of together already. Look at this. Never ending. <laughs> yeah, she. You are. You, you're doing well with our puzzles on Puzzle Day. Well Better done, than Sue. we. <laughs> yes, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the mandala has has quite a history, doesn't it? Yeah, tell us about it. Um, it there, there's history that goes back to the Hindus and the Buddhas, and but there's also the art of it. Um, was also used in psychology by Carl Jung, and so it, it not only the spiritual side of it, but I just like the artistic side of it because right. I like things that are. I'm a, I'm a mathematical person. I like the mathematical side of it, so it's kind of a combination of math and art. Mandel is basically a circular design that's done with patterns, right. and it's one line at a time. It looks complex, but it starts out very simple. You can make it very simple. You can make it very complex. It depends on what your experience is. So we will start with the simple, and then once you have those tools, you can go on and on and on. But like you said, it can it can be art too. Oh yes. How do you how do you turn it into art? Well, you turn it into art. Well, art's always in the eye of the beholder. Um, you can add the add the color, the shading. Um, it's just whatever pleases your eye. Um, but that th the creation of it is what makes it the most fun because it just zens you out, yeah. sort of. Yeah. You get to the repetition, the patterns, and it calms you down. You can see the, the different lines and the different circles. Right. As, you, as you repeat those lines and circles, it becomes a pattern, it becomes, it's just a beautiful thing to look at. Yeah. Mm. And, and you've probably seen something like that in like church windows. Right. Those yes. are big mandalas, yeah. yes. and you've got little ones. You've got, there are some that are very, very small. Huh. It's gorgeous. And, and people <laughs> have an opportunity to make a mandala? Oh yeah, but they're going to be making three mandalas. Mm -hmm. They're going to be making one that's very um, uh, personal to them. To them, um, they're going to be making one under the direction of the uh, the instructor. But then they're also going to do a round robin group mandala, where every person that's going to be in the class will add to the to the same mandala and build a bigger one. Oh wow! Yeah. So the instructor Deborah Wolford Reiser yes says the mandala has been a major part of her life. Yes. How so? She likes to. Uh, get into the Zen and to the contemplative nature of the, building the mandalas and it's just a very relaxing way of of dealing with stresses in life and that's what she that's what she works with. Wow. Now this is just one program that the uh, Milton Arts Guild has. Tell us about more. Well <laughs> we're, we're a growing organization we're getting very involved. Right now we have um, we have open studios every Friday anybody can come in and just join and paint Mm -hmm. If you need somebody to paint with, every every Friday from 11 to 2, you come in, we help each other. Some people, like this is where we met Deb. Yeah. She came into Open Studio and she brought these mandalas and we said we'd love to learn how to, to do this. So that's why she's teaching the class for us. Uh, we oh, also... Okay, so give us the where's and the when's of the class. Okay, the class is, is February 15th and I think it's 11 to 2.30. Okay, we've got 10 to, 10 to 10 to 10 to 12:30. That's, that's okay. right. 10 to, 10 to 12 30 at Milton Arts Guild, and that's at 310 Walnut Street in Milton okay. mm -hmm. at our gallery. We have four Friday classes. So every, like for for February, we have four Fridays. We'll have we'll be doing drawing. We just finished up watercolor. Um, on Wednesday nights, the third Wednesday of every month, we have a introduction class. It's called Artful Touch, and we'll introduce people to a variety of things marketing art, how to watercolor on canvas, how to um, frame your art, how to mark, uh, how to build a website for an artist. You just don't run out of things to do, we, do you? We just have a lot of <laughs> things going on. We have art, we have um, art around town, yeah. where we're hanging in restaurants in, in, the, in the area. We're hanging in Irish Eyes and Lewis, and then awesome. we're also going to be hanging in town hall and in the library. So, and we just, last October, we had our first, first annual art walk where we had artists on porches around town and we had people walking around to the oh, different wow. locations. We're so gonna that. have awesome. all that and we're gonna have a link to your website yeah. from okay. our website, domarborlife.com and you can look at all the great things that so uh, the Milton Arts Guild <laughs> so does. Much. Sue, Wonderful thank you so much. Very interesting.